Hey, I... I appreciate you coming over a lot. I've been distancing myself from people lately, and I'm realizing that it's starting to get really unhealthy and I need to socialize. And I thought, who better to bring over than my old best bro? Who I haven't seen in a good year or so. Sorry. I've been busy. Doing nothing. And everything all at the same time. But, I got us a little... I know, I know it's childish, but hear me out. I got a board game. Would you, after we perhaps drink a little and smoke a little bit of weed, play Truth or Dare? I found it at a corner store, and it looks really fun. It has these little cards that have, like, different actions or little dares that you have to do. I don't know. It looked entertaining. It looked like a fun party game. So I figured buy you over see if you want to play with me. And if not, that's fine. We can just chill like we used to. Here, I'll 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 go make you a drink. I'll be right back. All right. Um, I don't exactly remember what you like respectfully it's been a little while so I just poured you some happy juice I hope you're okay with that but um what if what have you been up to lately I I don't really see you often anymore and it kind of sucks we used to be really close and then someone or something tore us apart if I'm being quite honest I think that most of my problem with socializing with people is that I thought people were just gonna abandon me all the time. But you were, you were different. For some reason you liked my little quirks, my little immature jokes that I would always say, and you would always laugh. And I never understood it, because my jokes aren't funny. They're terrible. They're close to dad jokes, if you ask me. Probably because I stole half of them from my dad. And I... I'm, I'm really happy that... We never lost contact throughout the years. That would really suck, because you, you mean a lot to me. And I really appreciate you being in my life. I can't say that for most people. But I can for you. Do you want to sit down? Get comfortable. I can get you another drink. I can get you something to smoke. Or if you want, we can start playing the game. Okay. Let's get started. Um, who should go first? What did I die to? You want me to go first? You're fucking cocky. But fine. 
I'll play your game. Truth. Did I have a, a crush in high school? Y yeah, of course I did. Everybody does. But you're going to have to get me a lot higher for me to tell you. Because it's, it's not that important. It's not that important. Oh my god, why does it matter who I had a crush on in high school? Could have been you for all you know. It doesn't matter. Well, alright, big guy. Since you're so high and mighty, truth or dare. Okay. Then I dare you to let me sit on your lap. What's wrong? I'm scared. <laughs> You're pretty comfy. All right, my turn. I'll do dare. Why, why do you want me to get more comfortable? I'm already comfortable, silly. I like it where I am. I'm comfy as can be. But since you dared me, I guess I have no choice but to lay on your chest. Alright, big guy. Your turn. You're getting awfully red. What's wrong? You and me both know that's bullshit. You don't have allergies. You have literally given me a piggyback ride through the forest. You don't have allergies. But anyway, enough stalling. Truth or dare, pretty boy. Listen, it... It just slipped... Listen, it just slipped. I'm high, okay? You can't blame me for that. I mean, look at you. God damn. Fine, do you... You want me to come clean about my first answer? The person I had a crush on in high school was you. It was you, okay? I thought you were incredibly attractive, but I never thought I could have you. So I never tried. But then we stayed friends, and the feelings only got stronger, and my desire to have you only got stronger. I could go as far out to say as I'm in love with you. But you feel so unattainable all the time. But now that I've said that, truth or dare? Okay, then I... I... 
I dare you to kiss me. said I'm in love with you. Lyvek, I want to give you something. I'm sorry if I'm a little out of practice. It's been a while since I've been with anyone. I'm sorry if I disappoint. Hopefully this shows you how much I love you. I hope I look cute enough for you. I don't want to admit it, but I put on this outfit before you came over in the hopes that this is how tonight would end. I've always longed for you like this. You're pretty big, by the way. I bet you taste great. I want you. I need you. 